Forgotten by Design, Part 22b, Secrets and Shadows in the Federation Capital. Emerging from the isolation of the Trexel Void's maximum security prison after 60 long years, Raxiel found himself thrust into a world both familiar and alien. The Federation capital, with its impressive skyscrapers and interconnected transport systems, had evolved in his absence, offering a vivid contrast to his prison's austere environment. Yet as he set foot on its ground, he felt an eerily similar sensation of confinement, albeit one crafted from secrecy rather than steel. Guiding him through this transition were agents Morell and Silka. Their vigilant eyes kept a close watch on him, ensuring that their valuable asset remained protected. Their journey was swift, leading them to an unassuming structure nestled among the city's skyscrapers. The building's ordinary facade gave no indication of its significance. Once inside, the sterile corridors echoed with the trio's footsteps, a sound all too reminiscent of the life Raxiel had left behind. The hum of machinery and the glow of screens soon came into view as they entered a state-of-the-art lab where Lenara and Lansing awaited. Raxiel, Lenara greeted, striking a balance between caution and formality. It's been a while. Raxiel nodded slowly, taking in his surroundings. Seems I've missed a lot. Lansing, ever the pragmatist, interjected, your past might be crucial to our present predicament. Counselor Zareen believes that your history with the faction can shed light on recent events. Without further preamble, they ushered him into an adjacent room designed specifically for interrogations. The starkness of the room was palpable, with its sleek table and restrained design. Agents Morell and Silka took positions near the entrance, their presence a subtle reminder of the gravity of the situation. Lenara wasted no time. Let's begin. You were involved with the faction because... Raxiel's eyes clouded with memories. Back then, their vision of a world untouched by genetic manipulation appealed to my youthful idealism. It started with protests, but it evolved, became more radical. And their objectives? Lansing probed. Raxiel's expression darkened. It shifted from peaceful dissent to violent actions, I got drawn in deeper than I should have. The room's tension grew palpable as Lenara leaned in. Who called the shots? Who were the faces behind the faction's radical shift? Raxil struggled, memories from six decades ago vying for clarity. Names were never used, only codes. Lenara's face lit up with realization. During our analysis of your holopad, a code name appeared repeatedly. Eon, ring any bells? Flashes of covert meetings and a shadowy figure flitted through Raxiel's mind. Eon, he whispered, always there, yet never truly visible. He was pivotal, orchestrating events from the background. Lansing exchanged a look with Lenara. This might be the lead we need. If Eon's still in the mix, finding him could unravel the faction's current operations. Lenara added, Raxiel, with your insights, we might stand a chance against these shadows that threaten our Federation. Raxiel's voice, laden with regret and determination, broke the silence. I'll assist however I can. A renewed sense of purpose filled the room. The Federation's future depended on unraveling the enigmas of its past, and Raxiel, with the help of Lenara, Lansing, Morell, and Silka, might just hold the key, unraveling the faction's threads. The expansive room was a buzz, bathed in the soft blue luminance of numerous hollow displays. Documents, archived clips, and the salvaged data from Raxiel's holopad sprawled across tables, serving as central points for the team's analysis. Agents Morell and Silka, despite their nonchalant demeanor, maintained a keen vigil, ensuring that every facet was meticulously studied. Fingertips dancing on a console, Lenara activated a vast holographic city projection. Geography first, she suggested, marking certain zones Raxil had alluded to. Raxil. Pinpoint those locations the faction was partial to. Eyes scanning the holographic layout, memories began to resurface in Raxel's mind. Elysium Brews in the West District. Many covert assemblies took place there. Then there's Baron's Bar, tucked away in the Northeast Alleys. Cross-referencing this with the existing database, Lansing noted, Elysium Brews is still functional. Baron's Bar closed around 20 years back, but its location has seen various proprietors. Both demand scrutiny. 
Nodding in agreement, Lenara steered the conversation further. Let's discuss individuals, Raxel. Faces that stand out from your time with the faction? Drawing a deep breath, Raxel summoned images of the past. A woman, about mid-height, with dark tresses. She always had a crescent moon pendant around her neck. There was also a mature man, hair speckled with gray, a distinctive scar bisecting his left eyebrow. At the mention of the pendant, Morel's interest was visibly piqued. I recall that description. The crescent moon cropped up in prior intelligence dossiers, possibly indicating a rank or emblem. Swiftly sifting through archived images, Lenara produced a visual of a younger female donning the described pendant. Could this be her? She inquired. Raxil, peering closely, confirmed. Time has faded many memories, but that's undoubtedly her. Lenara interjected. We stumbled upon her visage in old records, but she always remained an enigma, an unidentified specter amidst the faction's documented members. Lansing mused aloud, considering the longevity of some Federation races, they might have aged, but they aren't necessarily old. Silka finally weighed in. Factions like these often exhibit generational continuity. Ideals transcend time, passed down to younger successors. Should we locate these senior members, they might illuminate pathways to the newer participants. With a decisive tone, Lenara stated, Here's our course of action. Guided by Raxiel's insights, we'll revisit these venues and pursue leads on these figures. If this faction continues to adhere to its antiquated modus operandi, we'll possess an invaluable advantage. Raxiel's countenance exuded determination. They abandoned me, left me to face the void of imprisonment. Now it's their turn to answer for their transgressions. With a steely resolve, Lansing declared, Our mission is clear to trace vestiges of bygone days to unveil present-day perils. The strands of memory Raxiel offers will be woven into a snare, ensnaring this elusive faction. A purposeful atmosphere pervaded the room. As preparations for their mission commenced, Lenara took Raxiel aside. There's a crucial component you must be aware of, Raxiel. You'll venture into these identified sites alone, ostensibly a freed man seeking to reconnect with past acquaintances. Understanding dawned on Raxiel, the weight of his role clear. With the Federation's stability in the balance, they were hell-bent on safeguarding its future. With the roadmap of yesteryears as their guide, they were poised to decode the faction's enigmatic operations. Aboard the USF Valiant, the colossal Arcturus starbase loomed against the star-streaked canvas of space. Its metallic expanse shimmered with lights, reflecting off of the ships docked in perfect alignment. Here, at one of the Federation's premier stations, a palpable energy of excitement and expectation permeated the air. Delegates from various corners of the Federation assembled, their diverse appearances a testament to the vastness of the interstellar collective. Among them, the distinguished Talon, recognized for his diplomatic acumen, adjusted his ceremonial attire. He often played a pivotal role in negotiations, but today's mission bore a significance like none other, a groundbreaking cultural and technological liaison with Earth. Gazing out of a vast viewport, Talon's eyes traced the sleek silhouette of the USF Valiant. The ship's design was an amalgamation of elegance and function, embodying the Federation's spirit of exploration and unity. It was more than just a vessel. It was a beacon of hope and harmony. A voice cut through Talon's reverie. Ambassador Talon, may I introduce you to Captain Ilara Ivris of the USF Valiant? Turning around, Talon met the intense gaze of a woman adorned in the crisp uniform of the Federation fleet. Her posture radiated authority, yet her eyes twinkled with a hint of curiosity. A pleasure, Ambassador. Captain Ivris extended a hand, her grip firm. Likewise, Captain, Talon responded. I've heard much of your commendable service. A modest nod from the Captain. Throughout my tenure, I've participated in many groundbreaking missions for the Federation. But today's venture is truly unparalleled. Making our inaugural journey to Earth, engaging with a fledgling member of our interstellar community, is a profound honor. Their nascent steps into the vast tapestry of the Federation's cultural exchange hold immense promise. Talon agreed. Indeed, the stakes have never been higher. As the delegates began to make their way to the docking bay, Captain Ivris addressed the group. Ladies, gentlemen, and esteemed beings, 
Given the significance of this mission, I must stress the importance of our protocols. Every individual, regardless of rank or stature, will undergo a thorough security screening before boarding the Valiant. There was a murmur of surprise among the delegates. Such procedures, while routine for the crew, were not customary for dignitaries. However, the murmurs ceased as one of the elder representatives spoke up. While unexpected, I believe Captain Ivaris is right. The integrity of this mission transcends our personal conveniences. The crowd nodded in agreement. One by one, they stepped up to the security checkpoint, their belongings scanned, and identities verified. Even Talon, despite his high-ranking status, subjected himself to the check willingly. It was a small inconvenience for a monumental objective. As the final delegate cleared the security protocol, Captain Ivris led the group into the ship. The interior of the Valiant was a marvel. Corridors lined with advanced tech, holographic displays providing real-time data, and the gentle hum of the engines preparing for launch. The captain's voice resonated through the ship's communication system. All hands prepare for departure. Engage thrusters at my mark. The ship quivered slightly as its massive engines roared to life. Within moments, the USF Valiant disengaged from the starbase, embarking on its momentous journey to Earth. Outside, as the starbase receded into the distance, the Valiant gleamed like a jewel against the vast expanse of the cosmos. For those aboard, it symbolized more than just a ship. It represented the Federation's aspiration for mutual respect, collaboration, and the dawn of a new era in interstellar understanding.